Hello everyone, my name is Ishita Mangal. I'm a fashion designer and a content creator. And today I have decided to share my honest skincare routine with you guys. I decided to film this because I had a lot of requests about my skincare routine and so I finally decided that you know what the hell I'm going to make a video uh to describe it all to you. It's not possible to cover this in a short video format so I decided to make this piece of content so I can explain the process properly to you guys. Please know that I am not a skincare expert and I'm not a dermatologist. I am merely sharing what I do for my skin with you guys. I feel like some of you might find this educative um and if any of the products that I talk about interest you then I will suggest that you do your fair bit of research on them before you put your hard earned money on it. I feel like a skincare video is incomplete without really talking about what the skin type actually is. So my skin type used to be extremely dry and I feel like over the years it has slightly inched towards a normal skin type. I do have an oily T zone, but my skin is not acne prone. I get acne once in a while, um you know, if I have messed up with my skincare routine. or when i'm traveling or you know during pms so when i wake up in the morning i wake up around 6 am 7 am i don't immediately go for my shower then i will put on a pea size amount of my moisturizer i'm using the simple moisturizer i'll put a pea size amount of it on my face after which i will put my sunscreen which is the aquologica glow sunscreen i really like this it is dewy it doesn't pill doesn't leave a white cast and it is pocket friendly love that after that i'll step out of my room have some chai chill with my family play with my dog um read something or go to the gym and only when i come back from the gym which is around 10:30 ish I hop into my shower. After that I will use my simple face wash. It is honestly worth every hype that this face wash ever got. Uh because it is gentle, it cleans the skin properly and it is pocket friendly. So after I use this face wash, then I will get out of my shower and you know let my face be just a little damp and then apply my hyaluronic acid which is the HA pure hyaluronic acid this was recommended to me by my dermatologist and it says on the bottle that after face wash apply this on a slightly dampened face so that's what i do i have used many hyaluronic acids but i feel like this one is truly actually pure and it's also got you know hyaluronic acid is very drying on the face and um that's why you're always supposed to layer it with another serum mostly um especially for my skin type but this one is not that drying it's a little bit it's got a little bit of that creaminess to it it is hyaluronic acid at the end of the day but it just it won't dry out your face completely also probably there's a difference when you apply it on a dampened face so maybe that's that but i really like this and i've been using this for a long time and this is almost over now so i need to order a new one after that i use my vitamin c serum this one is by minimalist but just before this i was using the dot and key vitamin c serum they are both really amazing i will link all the products in the description but vitamin c is something that all dermatologists that i have ever gone to have recommended me I believe I used to have really dull and lifeless skin uh and that has really changed especially in just the last 2 years for me I don't think it's all vitamin C but I feel like having a good and regular skincare routine really helps And one thing that I've seen a lot of people do on the internet is you know especially when there's a dropper they'll go with the dropper and put it directly on the skin and I find that a little bit annoying because when you put it directly you're just constantly in a rush to sort of you know make sure that it doesn't drop from your face and to sort of uh blend it all and I feel like in that you just sort of you know you you might be a little harsh on your skin and you don't even get the product placement properly so what i like to do is instead i like to take the dropper and put some of it on my palm so i'll put it on my palm and instead of like 
you know rubbing your palms together just take little bit and then spread it on your face like that and that way and you know just use the tip of your finger so that way you really sort of get the product on properly and when you apply it gently you will make sure that it sort of covers the face instead of like you know just taking the dropper and then doing that uh with all your fingers you're just essentially using one finger and then you'll be able to get the product properly onto every part of the face comfortably also when you're putting on the product like this sometimes you end up touching the dropper to your skin which is not good because your skin constantly has a lot of bacteria and you know when you touch the dropper to it you might contaminate the entire product which is not advisable then i apply my moisturizer which is the simple moisturizer followed up with the aquilogica sunscreen I like to apply sunscreen whether I'm indoors or outdoors and that is the way to apply. It is a protectant for your skin and it is a game changer. If sunscreen is not a part of your routine then leave everything and make it a part of your routine because it's something that you have to apply every single day i will also suggest not buying very expensive sunscreens uh which is why i like this one i also like the dr sheth vitamin c and ceramide sunscreen which is a cult favorite and i also really like the sunscoop one this is fluid drops and it's spf 60 so i really like that when you know especially when i'm shooting outside i love using this so these are all good options and budget friendly options you know you might be able to find these uh on a really good sale also and then you can also get a great discount so i will link everything in the description box and you can have a look at what you want to purchase so this is my routine on days when i'm not filming on the days that i'm filming my routine is slightly different i will wake up around 5 a.m my team is like ah <laughs> but um i will wake up i will not wash my face i will directly use my moisturizer followed up with my sunscreen and then i will do all my makeup steps after i'm done filming which will be around noon is when i will remove my makeup first with the garnier micellar water i have been using this since so long i use the oil infused one i just feel like it really cleans your face properly and um it's it just feels really good i finished like easily 15 20 bottles of this or maybe more <laughs> but um i clean my face and after i'm done cleaning my face i follow the same steps as my morning skincare routine for my pm routine i have two different routines um so one is for on days when i have applied with makeup and one is for days when i have not applied makeup now on days when i have applied makeup i don't usually like to put actives on my skin because the skin has already been through too much during the day so instead i like to use something calming so at night i will wash my face with the simple face wash followed up with the ice aloe vera i really like this because aloe vera gel is usually a little bit drying on your skin and this has a slightly moussey texture uh which it feels very creamy on the skin this is also supposed to be stored in the refrigerator uh that's what it says on the pack so i keep it in my refrigerator and apply it and it's nice and cold in this creamy foamy moussey texture it feels really good then i like to apply the estee lauder after night repair skin serum this is really expensive okay but it is worth every penny i kid you not this product is like magic potion for skin it really repairs your skin so this is something that i use when you know my skin is going through something or on days when i've applied makeup or when i'm traveling this is the one that i have to keep going to so after my eye salvera i like to apply this serum 
which is followed up with my moisturizer. The moisturizer that I use for my skin is the Evion moisturizer. It is hands down the best moisturizer I have ever used. Not only is it not the best, but it is also the cheapest. This was recommended to me by a dermatologist a really long time ago and I've been using it since. I have used 20, 30 packs of it. I don't know, probably more. Um, I don't switch my moisturizer very often. So it is something that you can use it in the day and night. But right now, currently, I'm just using it at night. It's available as a drugstore moisturizer. So you will easily find it at your local chemist. Do check it out and let me know. And it's very strange that I have not seen a lot of people use it or recommend it on the internet. Maybe they don't know of it. But yeah, this is a little secret that I decided to give out today. And I might regret it later, but well, it's too late. <laughs> After my moisturizer, I like to use the Saturday Skin Vitamin C Sleep Mask. This has a very creamy gel-like texture. It is extremely hydrating on the skin. You're not supposed to use this every day. It does say that you can only use it three to five times a week. Um, I use it about three times a week because on days when I feel like my skin needs intense moisturization, I will follow up. Uh, with this after my moisturizer it just really nourishes hydrates and you know all of the all of those good things it has so this is something that I really love as well on days when I'm not filming I like to use actives uh, for my nighttime skincare routine and that's when I will use again the simple face wash to wash my skin and follow it up with retinol my skin loves retinol. Uh, this one is by Ordinary. It is the 0.5% retinol. Retinol is something that increases the collagen production in your skin, thereby reducing fine lines and wrinkles. Then I'll follow it up with the Indie Wild Bakuchi Oil Tripeptide Complex Serum. Uh, peptides are basically amino acids that are responsible for producing certain kind of proteins needed by the skin it feels really calming on the skin and deeply like nourishes my skin when i apply it so after that i will use the melanin anti-spot cream this is something that helps in removing any spots or pigmentation so it's something that i apply around my mouth area and on my forehead because i have a little bit of pigmentation in these areas i'll apply you're supposed to apply a very thin layer of it up on the concerned areas and then I will follow it up with my Evian moisturizer. Do not tell anyone the secret. Oh my god, I can't believe I've given away this secret today. Then I'll finally finish my skincare routine with my Cocoa and Honey Lip Bliss. It is by Sensatia Botanicals. This is a lip balm that I purchased from Indonesia and I think it's a brand from there if I'm not wrong. Um, yeah, it's made in Indonesia. So if anyone is coming from Indonesia to India, please get this for me. Please. After I'm done with my PM skincare routine, I will write in my journal or watch a show or write a script. I don't like to go to bed immediately. I like to wait for an, at least an hour because otherwise all of this amazing stuff that you've done on your skin will just get wiped on your bed sheet. <laughs> so yes guys this was my honest skincare routine i really hope that this was helpful honestly skincare is so much more than just the products that you're applying on your skin it is what you eat what you drink uh, your mental health has to do a lot with what your skin looks like i don't think we factor in that completely the weather of your place and there are so many other variables to it uh, but i really hope that this was educative informative do check out the products I have linked and mentioned them all in the description uh, of this video and read about them see the reviews of the people if you're somebody who has used any of these products share your experience with us in the comment section good or bad we can all learn from it thank you so much for watching my video if you're liking my videos please consider subscribing to my channel um, you know so that we are we continue to be motivated to bring this to you. Thank you so much again. My name is Ishita Mangal and I will see you next time. Bye.